Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lifeline Torque Wrench. Okay, so this particular model is called the Lifeline Pro Torque Wrench. Lifeline make two, they make the Lifeline Essential Torque Wrench and the Lifeline Pro, and I'll be reviewing the Lifeline Pro. Okay, so before I start reviewing this Lifeline Torque Wrench, I'm first going to tell you what a torque wrench is used for. So on your bike and all the components on your bike, you usually see a number with the symbol NM, and that basically tells you how many newton meters the bolt should be tightened to. Without using a torque wrench, you can over tighten a bolt, and this will damage your frame or the components on your bike, and this will usually end up costing a lot of money. So, the torque wrench just make sure that the bolts are correctly tightened so that you don't damage anything and cost a lot of money. Okay, so the Lifeline Pro torque wrench comes in at £70, and although that might seem a lot for a little tool, it is actually a really good investment. If you are starting to over tighten bolts on your frame, as I said earlier, it will damage it and your frame is usually worth £400 and upwards so it's going to be a good investment to make sure you're not spending £400 on a new frame and you're only spending £70 on a torque wrench. The torque wrench comes in a nice plastic case and it's not too big, it can be stored in most places like a toolbox or in your shed and it's really hard so it will stop anything from getting scratched and getting lost. It also comes with two clips here so that it gets locked in place and it can't fall open easily and then inside it's got some nice slots for all of the allen key bits and all of the tool bits and then a big slot for the torque wrench. The Lifeline Pro torque wrench comes with seven different tool bits. It's got a two mil Allen key tool bit attachment, a 2.5 mil attachment, and then a three, four, five, and six mil attachment. And then lastly, it's got a T25 attachment. The tool bits themselves are really, really good quality and they fit really nicely onto the torque wrench. Um, they're basically all the sizes that you need for your bike. And then if you do need any more attachments, you can obviously buy extra bits that will fit the torque wrench after. So to put the tool bits on, all you need to do is just simply click the tool bit on. You don't need to push any buttons or anything, it just simply slides on and then clicks. And then to get it off, you just have to use a bit of force to pull it off. I'm going to use a 6mm Allen key tool bit for example, and as you can see, at least you just click it on, it stays on, and then you pull it off, and then you can use it. The Lifeline Pro Tool Crank ranges from 3 Nm to 15 Nm, and it goes up in 0.2 Nm increments. So that means you'll be able to measure most torque set for the bike, for example, 4.5 Nm, you could just put it to 4.6 Nm, be as close as possible. And then obviously you can go all the way up to 15 Nm, which means you'd be able to get a lot of leverage for stuff like frame pivot bolts or through axles. To change the settings of your torque wrench, all you have to do is you have to pull the bit at the bottom out and then you twist it to where you want it to go. As I said, it can go up in 0.2 Nm increments, so you can get it really, really precise. And then to see what Nm you're actually measuring, it has a little plastic dial, which will show you and it basically has a red line which goes over the number which you're measuring at. The Lifeline Pro Torque Wrench also comes with a ratchet system. So for example, if you're twisting a bolt clockwise and then you get it past your hand limit, you can quickly turn it back and the torque wrench will disengage like that. This ratchet system also works both ways. You can use it clockwise and anti-clockwise, which is really handy for if you're measuring the torque on reverse thread bolts. So for example, if you're measuring the torque on your pedals, you can switch it to anti-clockwise mode and still measure the torque of your pedal. Although the ratchet system does work really well, it doesn't have many clips, so it won't have as much high engagement as a more expensive torque wrench. Okay, so the overall quality of the Lifeline Pro torque wrench is really good. It's a really good budget torque wrench, and for £70 it works really well. There are obviously more expensive torque wrenches which are going to work better, but I believe at £70 this is the best one you can get for your money. The actual body of the torque wrench itself feels really solid, and it's got a nice metal finish. And the tool bits also feel really solid. The only thing I would say that's not good quality is that when the tool bits are on, they shake around and move around a little bit. And obviously the ratchet system doesn't have many engagement clips. Also, it comes with a nice case, as I said earlier, which is going to protect it and stop from getting lost. Okay, everyone, that is the end of the video. Hope this video helps you decide if you want to buy the Low Flying Pro torque wrench. It is a really good torque wrench and it's good value. But if you do want to watch a video of mine, click on the top right hand of your screen. Anyway, I'll see you next week.